Today we're talking about Scream 6. It is the follow-up to Scream 5, and it stars everyone from that movie except for Neve Campbell, who decided not to return in this movie as Sidney Prescott. A year following another round of Woodsboro murders, the gang fight for their lives against a new ghost face in New York City. Well, as you guys know, I've been very absent on YouTube the past couple of months, and the reason for that is because I've been focusing on making movie content on Instagram, instead of YouTube, but I want to make it a goal of mine to still make YouTube videos and as many as possible the rest of 2023 because I love making YouTube videos. It's so much fun to talk about movies instead of writing about them. And in the case of Scream 6, I knew I had to make a review on YouTube about this movie because I talked about Scream 5 and all the Scream movies last year when that film came out, so it only made sense and I really wanted to do it. If you watched my ranking video of the Scream movies last year, you're aware that I like these movies. I find them all entertaining. I don't think there's a single bad Scream movie because the first five films have a formula and the same goes for Scream 6. The movie opens with a phone call, that person gets murdered, and then there are a round of murders to follow and they are connected to the main characters and then of course at the end there is a final big reveal of who Ghostface is. And these films are always a ton of fun not just for the bloody kills though which obviously horror fans want to see on the screen but because they are meta, they're self-aware, there's a lot of comedy in these movies and I love that about the Scream franchise. Real quick before I continue this review, I want to tell you guys about my friends over at Movie Palette, a website that specializes in creating personal movie palettes of your favorite movies. Scrolling through their website, you'll notice that they make color palettes for any movie of your choice. And if you look at what they sent me, guys, this is my color palette for the film Inception, my favorite film of all time. This is every color in the movie. It's almost like an art piece. I just love this thing. So buy one now, hang it in your room, use my promo code now to get 15% off of any purchase on their website. The link to their website and the promo code are down below in the description. Enjoy guys. Now back to the review. Honestly, if you love the Scream franchise, if you're a diehard fan, you're going to love Scream 6 as equally as the first five films. If there's not a single movie in the collection of the Scream franchise that you dislike, you're not going to dislike Scream 6 either. It's basically the same movie, but if you like the characters, the kills, and the reveals, you're going to enjoy the same thing here in Scream 6. It's all the same. And if you're a big Scream 3 fan who loved the fact that that movie took place in a different location, you'll most likely also love how this movie takes place in New York City, and they do utilize some set pieces around the city, including the subway. But if you ask me, I think this movie is just fine. I wasn't the biggest fan of Scream 5, but I still gave it a positive review, a 6.5 out of 10. Although I don't think I can do that for Scream 6 because this movie did not have as much creativity. I could look past the generic atmosphere surrounding Scream 5 because it was a big time gap between Scream 4 and 5. But then they decided to just make Scream 6 a year after Scream 5. And I, I have no idea how they made this movie so quick. Like, this movie got pumped out fast. Like, I remember when I saw Scream 5 last year, they were already talking about writing Scream 6 and how the final draft was just about done and that filming would take place later on that year. My mind was blown. I could not believe that they were already ready to make another installment in this franchise, even though the fifth movie had just been released. And now through two quick sequels, it's pretty obvious that this franchise is trying to mirror the earlier installments in the Scream movies, like Scream one and two. So I'll say this for all who have not seen Screen 6 yet. This is the same exact movie as every other Screen movie. You've seen one Screen movie, you've seen them all. Like I said, I could look past the fact that we got Screen 5 last year and how that movie was pretty generic. It wasn't much different from any of the first four, but I looked past it because it had been 11 years since Screen 4, so I'm okay with that getting released last year, but the fact that we got Scream 6 just a year later and it's almost the same exact movie with the same formula as the last one and the first four, it's starting to get old. And for whatever reason, this time around, the film was convoluted. It wasn't as simple as the first five. If you haven't seen Scream 1 through 5 and only want to see Scream 6 this weekend without watching those, I have no idea how you kept up with the story. There are so many characters, so much backstory to the first five movies that 
I would find it hard to keep up with everything going on in the movie. And they just, they try too hard to make this movie feel different and feel more creative than the previous installment. They didn't have to do that. It could have just been another simple Scream movie. But they got too deep into the meta stuff. Also, I'm not sure why it takes place in New York City because as I said, there are a couple of set pieces that make you feel like you're in the city, but it doesn't go nearly as far enough. Besides the subway scene and a couple of sequences that take place in an alley, there is nothing else that makes it feel like you're in New York City. I, I guess they're in Central Park, but it looks like any other ordinary park with the little skyline of the city in the background. They could have been running from Ghostface in Times Square or running up the Empire State Building or something. Make the movie feel like it takes place in New York City instead of having most of the kills inside boring apartment buildings. So final thoughts, Scream 6 is exactly the same movie as Scream 5 with a few extra things in there to make it feel different, even though it really isn't. It's just a far more convoluted than the previous installments. If you love the Scream movies, if you're a diehard fan, you're going to love everything about this one. But, you know, I've seen every Scream movie now, and I'm just fatigued at this point. I kind of hope this is the last one, but I highly doubt it considering this movie was highly profitable over the weekend. In my opinion, the franchise should have just ended after Scream 2 in 1997. I'm going to give Scream 6 a 5 out of 10. Okay, so what are your guys' thoughts on Scream 6? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was necessary? I didn't. Let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, as always, if you are new to my channel, click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you all have a very fantastic day.